Hello everyone. Welcome back to Stephen K. De Silva Ministries. We're working our way through the content in Prosperous Home Subject and Manual. There's a, you can see that in the back. That's a curriculum guide or a curriculum kit for small group leaders who want to run this on your own. So I'll just uh, wait for a moment for a few more folks to jump on and we will jump into today's exciting episode on altitude. This is the wonders of altitude. I'll explain that in a moment, but don't tell anybody. Shh, I want to let you know. I just today secured a location in Reading for the next Prosperous Home event. It's a two-day event, and it is on January 19 and 20. Yeah, January 19 and 20. So you guys know this first. I haven't announced it. I'm still even trying to plan it. But it's a super fun event. Lots of people have done this. And uh, we're going to go through the entire manual. And uh, we're going to introduce the basics around a, a prosperous home. And all the tools and tips that you hear in these little videos will be put into one context and one amalgamated piece and we'll really learn as a group some great things about being a prosperous soul in your home. So more details will come. I'll let you know when that happens, but you'll know here first. All right. Okay. Today we're going to talk about a framework that the prosperous home is built around. This is a framework that kind of hangs in the background, but it works like the following. It works on the ideas of discovery, the rule of holes, become the bank, and a debt assault. The debt assault is where most people put their attention because everyone hates debt, me included, okay? But let me just say that, that we will get to debt, the debt assault, later. What we need to do is first build a foundation and an understanding and a very difficult skill first in the subject of discovery, okay? Discovery, I like to think of in the way uh, of our home, in the context of our home, discovery is opening your eyes and looking at some of your information. Your financial information, for some of us, is not very peaceful. It doesn't give us great feelings and emotions. We'd much rather escape and watch a movie or go with some friends or go have a meal. But when we come to stewarding our home, we have to actually do the hard work of discovery. Uh, it is really a point that, that evokes fear in people. It evokes fear because we are unsure, we feel shame, we feel embarrassment, maybe we have some failures. Maybe we have some debt we have to overcome. All of those things are possible. You can do all these things. I promise you. I can tell you. I've done it. Many, many thousands of people that have taken my class and other classes have done it. But what continues to keep people from breakthrough is their failure to discover. So in my context, if you come upon a subject that makes you afraid or makes you feel anxious, go use my, my financial sozo tool to get to the root of why that fear exists. If you find out why it exists, then you can overturn it or remove it. Think of it like a weed. That fear is growing inside of you like a weed. Don't let it mature. Go find the source with the help of the Holy Spirit and pull that lie out and replace it with truth. We've done some of these exercises already in earlier videos, so if you're interested, go back and find those. But really it comes down to help with the Holy Spirit to find what is true, and I talk in terms of biblically true or truth. We take what is true and replace it in our heart where we believe, and at that point you will find yourself breaking through the barricade of fear, shame, anxiety, maybe hate, strong emotions around the subject of money. So when we come to the subject of a prosperous home, I like to approach the subject of discovery in this way. 
Life is messy. And in our home, you are the pilot. You are piloting your little home to get somewhere. You have a, a destination you want to reach, right? In your home, you want to come to something, whether that's financial security, whether that's extreme generosity, whatever the thing is that you set out in front of yourself, what I would say is you need to understand that your home is like an airplane and you are like the pilot. You see, good pilots have this in common. They fly the airplane with their eyes open, right? No pilot is going to fly an airplane with their eyes closed. Now, I don't know a lot about flying airplanes, but I am confident that's true. Those guys walk in, sit down, and take a hold of all the steering wheel and instruments and all that. They're looking through the window, but all the time, their eyes are open. Okay, they know how to see and they know how to navigate their plane. So your home is like an airplane. Whoopsie, let's get that one flying the right way. Your home is like an airplane and you are the pilot. Now the thing about airplanes is they are designed for a thing called altitude. You see an airplane without an altitude is simply a taxi. It's simply something driving around the airport. It goes from terminal to terminal. It goes to the maintenance shed. It comes back to a terminal. But an airplane is not designed to just go nowhere. An airplane is designed to get someplace. And this is the same for your home. Now see, in order for an airplane to get someplace, it needs altitude. Because how many of us know that life is messy? There are unexpected things. If we stay with the airport analogy, there is a fence around the airport. There's probably roads and buildings around the airport. So in order for this airplane to get somewhere, someplace, it needs to get off the ground. And this is what we're going to begin to learn about in your prosperous home. How do you gain altitude? It's something that the wealthy think of easily, and you will as well. Well, we'll first begin to describe altitude in the context of unexpected things or unexpected events. We have, for the past few videos, been working on the idea of bridging from where we were before the holidays, before the Thanksgiving break, all the way through New Year's Eve. We're somewhere between first and second base right now, referencing my last video, running from Thanksgiving holidays into Christmas. And during that period of time, we are going to experience unexpected events. Costs that we didn't count on are going to spring up. We're going to have uh, gifts to purchase. We're going to want to make some trips and travel. We, we have lots of plans. We might be looking into next year and beginning to develop our plans come New Year's Eve, New Year's resolutions. All of those things can be seen like objects that take altitude to get over. For example, here are three objects. Now the first one here represent the buildings around the outside of the airport. There are also higher things that require more altitude to clear them. This is a, a telephone pole if you can't tell, but the idea is that some things are lower than others. And what you're trying to accomplish is enough altitude to overcome these things that are gonna that are going to face you. One of the examples right in front of us is the idea of Christmas. We have a chance now to go through Christmas and at the other end of Christmas not have accumulated more debt in our lives, right? Simply picture that as you don't want a bigger credit card balance to have to chew on when it comes to 2018. Well, the way you do that is by building altitude so that you can get over these hurdles, whether they're Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whether they're Christmas Day, whether they're New Year's Day. How about some of the really big hurdles that we need to get over, like starting a business or building a retirement? Or how about taking care of colleges and 
weddings for our children, those, those people we love most? How about leaving inheritance and getting to a place where we leave something behind for our children's children? The Bible calls that the work of a righteous man. So here we go. The key is altitude. And the way you build altitude is, imagine you're now in the, in the cockpit of your airplane. You have all these switches and dials, all these things to navigate. You can look through the windshield. You can manage all of these dials and switches. And these are all the complexities that come to managing your home, managing your finances. These are things like, should I put money into an IRA? Should I pay off debt? How do I invest? Should I buy a home or should I rent it? Is it time to buy a car or lease a car? Or should I just rent a car? Should I even have a car? All of these questions and the multitude that they represent are represented in all these switches and tiles across the complicated dashboard of navigating your prosperous home. But what I want to say is it boils down to something very simple. There are two key dials on the dashboard of your airplane. Your home most fundamentally is operating off of these two dials. And those are called the balance sheet and the income statement. Now we will get to talking about those at a later time. What I want to do is make this so simple and so workable that anyone can begin to navigate their airplane. You see, the balance sheet and the income statement are the two things that every financial teacher focuses on. The fact is, most teachers focus on the income statement, the income and outgo of a home. We will come to that. We have to come to that because that's where income is earned or active or passive or all of those conversations are cycling and revolving around the income statement. But that is where the consumerism and the consumption mentality focuses. The wealthy do not think on the, balance, on the income statement. They think on the balance sheet. They think about where and how do I build altitude what am I aiming to get over? And this is what I'm going to introduce to you over the next few weeks, probably before Christmas, okay? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about altitude. Here's the key. I want you to say to yourself, I need altitude. Yeah, I need altitude in my life. If you want to get somewhere with your money, with your prosperous home, you need altitude. You know what else? Altitude buys you time. You see, if you have 10,000 feet of altitude and your engines stop, you have some time to figure out and solve this problem. You can coast for some time when you're at 10,000 feet. But if you're at 1,000 feet and you run out of engines or gas, you have very little time to solve it. In terms of a home, that might look like the end of an income or an interruption in a job or some of these other unexpected events, these, these power poles and mountains that we face as we approach them. What you need is altitude. So I want you to say this with me. I need altitude in my prosperous home. Repeat it again. I need altitude in my prosperous home. Father in heaven, I'm asking that you would build in us the comprehension and the capacity to build altitude in our prosperous homes, that we would build it in accordance to your, your guidance and your leading and your wisdom and your word. But Father, how we build is now in your hands. God, we receive this prayer and ask that we would learn the tools to gain altitude so that we would prosper. In Jesus' name I ask it, amen. God bless you guys and God bless your prosperous home. Okay. All right. That's the end of the formal piece. And uh, I just wanted to see a few people here. Oh, I want to say hi to everyone. So if you're a guest and you're new to Pro uh, Stephen K. De Silva Ministries, now's the time you can pop off and check out.
but I'm just going to look here and say hello, Paola, hello, great to have you, Wayne, thank you always, appreciate you coming so good, yeah, Anna is my favorite, she's always faithfully on, I appreciate you, sister. Wayne says something here, he says, if the pilots are blinded by weather, they must trust their tools. If you, if you lose your vision temporarily, then trust your flight plans and the tools that work to direct the airplane until you regain vision. It goes on. He sees more. Go check out his comment, but this is so true. You see, I understand that your sense, when, when the blind time comes, when you're in your cockpit and out through the window, you can see nothing but either black or white. It's a complete night, or blanked out, or it's a complete whiteout storm. The way that a pilot survives is by relying on their dashboard, on their dials. They don't rely or depend upon their sense of direction or their, their, their idea or thought or opinion. <clears throat> Instead, they rely on what their information and instruments tell them. That's called being instrument trained. So here's a little secret. When it comes to money, you are always flying in a storm. That's because money moves at the speed of thought. You see, money isn't real. Money is an idea. And because it's an idea, it moves as quickly as we can think or change our minds. Money is almost emotional because it's driven by thoughts around the world. And so what we need to do as good home pilots is learn how to not navigate through the windshield by what we see, by the things around us. Instead, learn how to navigate by our instruments. And the two we're going to learn right off the bat are the balance sheet and the income statement. I'm telling you, this is how the wealthy become the wealthy. And you can do it too. You and I are going to learn these tools and love it. we will apply them. And I'm telling you, man, you can do this. So God bless you guys. I appreciate those of you jumping on for the live session. I've told you before, I really appreciate your time. For the rest of you, I know thousands of people will be watching this. I bless you and I thank you for joining Stephen K. De Silva Ministries. And I ask God to prosper you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Stephen K. De Silva, and you're probably wondering, why have I never heard this information before? Well, now you can by going up into this corner and subscribing to this channel. Or you can go to this corner and watch the next video. There is tons of information I'm giving you. Go check it out and go deeper. Or better yet, go to the link below and go check out my website. I've got some free stuff on there. Go get that and go see lots of resources so you can finally master your money. Hey, I got to go record another video. I'll see you soon. Bye.